when when I was growing up, we uh, the the section next to the deer park was the, the deer park. The dog park was the deer paddock. Right now, now there's something else going on there now, or yeah, oops. well, some years ago, I don't know the exact year, uh, that fence was put back up. There mm -hmm. used to be a deer paddock there, and those deer were shipped to natu natural bridges. Uh, a national park and, in Virginia. Oh, okay. uh, some people mistakenly think the deer in the park now are descendants of the deer that were in the deer paddock and that they were let loose. That's not the case. Uh -huh. The deer were shipped to natural bridges. Huh. And then the, the fence was taken down. Right. But then uh, about 20 years ago or somewhere like that, uh, the government of Essex County figured they'd handle the deer population problem by building the paddock again, and they put all that fencing up again in the same spot, basically, and they thought they'd gather deer in there, and then they'd ship them somewhere else, mm -hmm. and then they gave up on that idea. And so it um, sat there unused for quite a long while. Right. And so they put the dog park in there, which was kind of one use of the area, mm -hmm. which has been very good and very popular with people. And then the South Mountain Conservancy discussed with the, uh, the government, uh, Di Vincenzo and Dan Salvanti, who's the head of the recreations and parks, um, about making it a deer exclosure. In other words, the deer can't get in there right. either. Mm -hmm. They were going to be put in there so they couldn't get out, but now they can't get in there. <laughs> and so it would be a good test of regenerating mm -hmm. the forest I see. because the deer aren't in there. Right. And so we now have called it, the, uh, the uh, Conservancy has called it the Wildflower and Forest Preserve. Mm. Okay. And a woman on the board of the uh, Conservancy who lives here in Maplewood, very near the park there, uh, by the name of Trisha Zimick. She uh, is in charge of the reforestation project. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, do you have any comments on, on the deer? On the deer hunt? You know, it's, um, I've been against hunting right. just on a personal basis, uh, basically all my life. Mm -hmm. And it's not something I right. find pleasant. Right. Uh, it's not an activity I would participate in. And actually, the problem is created by us, human beings. Mm -hmm. The deer have overpopulated the area up there because they can live off our front yards and our backyards. Right. And sometimes, oh, sometimes I'm going to say the house is near the park, but sometimes houses are pretty far away from the park, yeah. actually. Uh, I've seen them in my backyard, and I... Yeah, have a, a twelve-minute walk from the park. <laughs> that that's kind of interesting because uh, we we think the the issues. I mean, one one is that they have nothing up there, but another thing is that we have so much down here yeah. that it's helping them. And it you know. it starts growing earlier than what grows by nature in the park, mm -hmm. and therefore, you know, we've in part created this. There's no natural enemies anymore. You right. Know? Uh, somebody facetiously has suggested we bring in some uh, <laughs> bobcats or whatever oh, yeah. will attack He's, deer and yeah. have them in there. But I don't think people would find that very pleasant. I don't, I, I so yeah. I've, it's, I've it's, felt it, it's, it's a, it's tough a thing. necessary thing to do. That's my own feeling. Right. And I hope that the political leadership will stick with it because apparently, according to experts, you have to get the deer population down to as low as three deer per square mile or something like that mm -hmm. before it will regenerate. Once it's regenerated, the deer population could be a bit higher than I that. I see. I see. But the deer basically have eaten everything mm -hmm. that's at ground level, you know, that nothing it, too much is growing anymore. Right. And what does grow is most often, not always, uh, invasives. Mm -hmm. Stuff like Japanese stiltweed, Japanese knotweed, which is the right. most horrible stuff. It's unbelievable. And barberry hedge, the barberry bushes are in the park. And, mm -hmm. uh, so those mm -hmm. are the kinds of things the deer won't eat.
And right. So they they survive and do all right. Right. Those kind of things. Also, I just wanted to mention that you were a teacher in our school system for quite a while. At Columbia High School. Columbia. For Thirty-two years. Thirty-two years. Right. Wow. And uh, history. History. Yeah. Social yeah. studies. I Social guess. studies. But mostly that was history. Wow. And and how long have you been in Maplewood? Since uh, nineteen. 64. We okay. Moved That's oh. the year I started nice. teaching and I moved here then. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Started teaching at Columbia. I taught for eight years prior to that. I see. I see. Elsewhere. Even here, we're just going to show you on screen a little picture of a, a photo taken. Um, around 1900. Around 1900. And uh, maybe you can tell us a little more about what the park was like back then. Well, the, the park is the oldest county park in the United States, oh, and the I first purchase for the park was made in 1895. So the park is now 113 years old. 114? Oh. Hmm. 114 years old. And um, the, uh, the land up there had been ravaged by the demand for wood to make paper. Right. And so the thing that's surprising to most people is that the land had been basically denuded of trees in most of the area. And this photograph, which is from a postcard mm -hmm. in the postcard collection at the Milburn Short Hills Historical Society, and I took a photo of it. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's, it looks better in the postcard itself, but right, uh, right. The, uh, it's a photo from Washington Rock looking down over Milburn and there's barely a tree standing yeah. in the photograph. And I've seen other photographs in the park, like looking down the hill towards Maplewood. There's not right. a tree standing till you see the houses of Maplewood, then there's trees in those yards. Right, and, and also, I mean, and is that because of the paper mill? Well, or it wasn't it? just one paper mill. There were a, a number of paper A number mills. of them. Milburn was the great industrial town of the northern New Jersey between Newark and Morristown anyway. Newark, of course, was industrial. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's why it's called Millburn, uh, because mm -hmm. it had so many mills. Oh, right. They had uh, paper mills, they had um, ha uh, hat making factories, felt hats uh -huh. was a big thing oh, yeah. there too. But sure. the paper mills, of course, were used the, uh, the wood. Right. They used the right. wood. And then the way they cut the wood is that they slashed it down and the branches were left and then there were a lot of fires up there mm. in the park. Right. And uh, right. it wasn't so great either. In fact, when the park was founded, they had 12 fire wardens. Now we don't have a single one. Of course, wow. the local fire departments will take care of something. But yeah, yeah. They had 12 fire wardens in the park because there were so many fires going on. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for that little extra. And... Uh, and also, uh, just to mention, too, that there are a lot of volunteering opportunities. Oh, and through the Conservancy. Yeah, definitely. and and you can also check that on the website, somocon.org, somocon. Okay. okay. Well, I think that about wraps up. Um, do you have anything else you'd want to say? Or just just well, check I, out the website yeah, and I get on a hike? You can go on the website and check out a hike. The hikes are of all different sorts. Some of them are just on a single trail. Some of them go cross country and use 20 different trails and roads and mm. so forth. Some of them for young kids. Just did a hike today for kids three to six. Yeah. The Turtleback Rock. And, and that had a pretty big turnout. Do, yes. Do the kids' hikes usually have a big turnout? or um, it, it varies. Does, all it, all does all it vary all. for the adult hikes too? Yeah. yeah. All, all right. right. Gotcha. Well, yeah. thanks. Uh, Thanks for coming in, and everyone out there, get to the reservation, hike it. If you've never been there, you're just missing out. It's it's a amazing place. Thanks again sure for coming thing. out. All right, Good to be here. Great.